few people asked me to create a tutorial on how to make a blending board. Um, I got this model from someone on the Bitmoji Creates for Educators Facebook group, so thank you. And I'm just going to show you the few steps that I take to create my own. So first I go into Google Slides and I create my blank slide. And the first thing I do is I pick a background. So I'm going to do a St. Patrick's Day theme. So I'm going to pick my backgrounds and I choose image. I like to drag everything onto my desktop, so I'm gonna take the image and I drag it right in here. Now it's there and it's ready to go, so I'm going to insert a shape. Okay, I'm gonna pick a rectangle. I'm gonna make it nice and big for my letters and I'm going to fill it in with a color. And this is the border and I'm going to make the border thick so that it stands out. Now I'm going to need three of these because I'm going to be doing CVC words or I might add in a digraph. So I'm going to do Command D to duplicate it or you could do your left click. Click, I mean, drag it over, okay? You can align them how you'd like. And then once they are in place and you like your placement of them, you are going to take your image here and you go file, download, JPEG of current slide. So now when I do that, it goes to the bottom and this is going to make sure that my text boxes don't move around. So I don't need any of this right now. So I'm going to do backgrounds, choose image, and I'm going to drag it right here. Now this cannot move. So what I wanna do is I wanna insert my text boxes. So I'm going to click my text box, create it nice and big. Okay, you choose your fonts of your choice. Um, I'm going to do, let's see. And I like to keep it nice and centered. So now if my word is going to be luck, I'll start with L. And I want to have one of these in each of my boxes. So I'm going to duplicate my text box and drag it over. And I'm just going to erase this. Now, I like to have my boxes reveal one letter per slide. So I'm going to duplicate it. And my next one is going to say you. Okay, and I'm going to Command-Z duplicate this slide again. And I'm gonna put a digraph at the end. I just started teaching these, so I'm gonna put them in one box for the time being until we have a firm understanding. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this again, and the last slide is going to have the full word. Now, when I add an image, I want that image to come onto the screen in a certain way. So for example, I'll just show you my first one. The image that I'm going to use, uh, I'll use this little guy. And I got him from Google, and then I just put him into remove BG to remove the background. When I download it, it goes to the bottom of my screen. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm just going to drag him right onto the slide. All right, size to fit. And now, I want him to come in from the sky, so I'm going to click over here now that he's highlighted. I click Animate, and here it says Fade In. I'm going to change this, and I'm going to do Fly In, uh, fly in From the Top, okay? And now this is the speed, so if I wanted to go a little bit slower, I could do that as well. You play to make sure that it's what you want. Okay, I think that speed is good. I'm going to stop. Okay, so that's how you create your slides. And now just so you could see the finished product, I did it a little bit differently before. You put it in present mode before showing it to your class. I like to do these on Zoom. L, A, K, Luck, Luck. And I did the same thing with the 
rainbow. I, I just had it as an image and I did animate, but instead of fly in, I did fade in on one click. Okay, so that was the only difference. And when you create your slide, just don't forget to share your creation with all of the other educators. I hope this tutorial helps. I am definitely an amateur, so I'm still learning.